My very first recording contract at 23 years old, the label I signed with, they took 100% of my publishing. Huh? 100% of my publishing. How you let that happen? Because I didn't really know any better. The people that had represented me didn't know. It was new for everyone. I didn't know what an entertainment attorney was. The attorney that I had was probably like a real estate attorney. Didn't really know who to reach out to. This was 1993. Right. I'm living in Texas. It's not, it's not an entertainment space. Correct. I didn't, you know, and then gospel music has never been privy to a lot of agents and attorneys and representatives and managers that's not the ecosystem that gospel music has always matriculated through mm -hmm. and so we didn't have a lot of professionals in our space to be able to try to gather information and and they they took 100 percent of my so you got got i got got early on early on i'm old enough now where a lot of the uh the the copyright laws they now revert back to me. Right. And, and then so, so that, that's a blessing because after 30, 35 years, there's this reversion process. Right. And so, but yeah, but now most of, most of my deals early on were all bad deals. I just wanted to do music. Right. And it, and, and it came back to bite me.